Hi, Rick Smith here at the Sackler booth at NAB. These guys make great tripods. I've been using one lately on a TV show I'm working on. And I just want to tell you a little bit about what to look for if you don't have a tripod. A tripod is one of those things like a microphone that you can keep for decades. <clears throat> Excuse me, for decades. So I always recommend spend as much as you can afford on a, on a on a tripod because it's not something that's going to become obsolete. And a couple of things to look for, it depends on the size of your camera. You always want a, a tripod that's made to hold the weight of your camera. Like if you look over here, if uh, follow me with the camera. This is a pretty heavy camera up here. It's a Sony PMW EX3 heavy camera. You don't want to put that on a tripod that's not heavy enough to support it because it won't be stable and the whole point of having a tripod stable. and. Um, some of the other things you want to look for in a tripod, for a video tripod, you want a fluid head, not, not a friction head, a true fluid head, and those are going to cost a little bit more, um, but that's what allows you to get real smooth zooms, real smooth pans. This one's locked down right now. See, unlock it, and that way I can get a really smooth pan on that. And the same thing with the tilt, if I unlock that part, I get a really smooth tilt. And the neat thing about these is there are all kinds of adjustments in here. So you're basically adjusting the amount of tension on the tripod, which controls how easily it pans or tilts. So if you want a really slow, smooth, fluid um, pan or tilt, you adjust the tension through these. So on a better tripod, you're going to have more controls like that. On an inexpensive tripod, you won't have that much control over those things. Another thing to look for, the way the legs lock, these, these have a little uh, knob here that spins out. In fact, I think this is the exact same tripod I've been working with. I like this system. I'm not going to undo it because the camera's on here, obviously. Some of them have a little uh, switch that kind of flips over, and I've pinched my hands on those many, many times. So that's something to think about is, you know, how the legs work. You can find these made out of all kinds of different materials, and that affects the weight. So if you're going to be going, say, you're going to be carrying your tripod out into the field, you don't want to be carrying a really heavy tripod if you don't have to. So be aware of the weight of the tripod. And one more feature that you want to look for is how high does it go? There's these things called high hats that are really short. I mean, they're only that tall. And some tripods will only go, you know, maybe two feet tall. And, but some of them will go, I have one that will go over six feet tall. So again, you want to pick a tripod to suit the needs of how high you need to go, the weight of the camera. And a lot of tripods also have this thing called a spreader. This thing right here in the center part. And that ma makes it very easy for you to quickly pop the legs out and stabilize the camera. And um, it's just a feature to look for. Less expensive tripods often don't have a spreader with them. There's a mid-level spreader and there's a bottom spreader, which is um, swing the camera around. You can see one over there. News crews use that a lot because they can just kick it, just kind of spread it and kick it with their foot and set the tripod up really quickly. Another feature that you want to look for is a bubble level and you might find one that has a bubble level that's illuminated. One of my tripods has that so even at night in the dark, push the little button, the bubble's illuminated. That allows you to make an adjustment here to make sure that the camera is level. And, um, that's def definitely, you need to have a bubble level on there. Sometimes they'll have two of them. So um, those are some of the main things I think you want to look for in a tripod. Again, that's one of those things where you can get a cheap one. I, I have bought uh, inexpensive ones myself. They don't last. So invest as much as you comfortably can in a good tripod. Get a name brand and pick the the right height, the right uh, weight of tripod to the camera you'll be using, the right height you're going to need, and uh, it'll serve you for 10 or 20 years.